Mesopotamia between roughly 320 BCE and 620 CE, Mesopotamia experienced three distinct periods of foreign rule. The first period was under the Seleucids until 141 BCE, followed by the rule of the Parthians until 224 CE, and finally, the Sasanians until the Arab invasions in the 7th century CE. During the Seleucid period, after the fall of the Achaemenid Empire, Mesopotamia was divided into two parts. The southern part became the satrapy of Babylonia, while the northern part was initially joined with Syria but later became a separate satrapy. After the death of Alexander the Great in 323 BCE, there were wars among his successors, and Mesopotamia suffered from the conflicts and invasions of various armies. Around 321 BCE, one of Alexander's generals, Seleucus, later known as Seleucus I Nicator, took control of the satrapy of Babylonia. However, for a brief period from about 315 to 312 BCE, another general named Antigonus I Monothalmus ruled over all of Mesopotamia, and Seleucus had to flee and seek refuge with Ptolemy of Egypt. With the help of Ptolemy, Seleucus was eventually able to reclaim Babylon in 312 BCE and hold it against Antigonus's forces before consolidating his power in the eastern regions. Seleucus became the ruler of a vast empire that stretched from present-day Afghanistan to the Mediterranean Sea after the defeat and death of Antigonus in the Battle of Ipsus in 301 BCE. He established important cities like Seleucia, located on the Tigris River, and Antioch, situated on the Iranis River in Syria. Antioch became the primary capital while Seleucia became the capital for the eastern provinces. The exact dates of the founding of these cities are not known, but Seleucia was likely founded after Seleucus became king, and Antioch was established after the defeat of Antigonus. During the time of the Seleucid rulers, Mesopotamia was not extensively mentioned in Greek sources because the Seleucid rulers were primarily occupied with affairs in Greece, Anatolia, and conflicts with the Ptolemies of Egypt in Palestine and Syria. The political division of Mesopotamia was somewhat uncertain, as various cities were founded by Alexander the Great, Seleucus, and Antiochus Isoter, and these cities functioned autonomously, similar to Greek city-states. Geographically, Mesopotamia can be divided into four main areas, Kerosene, Mezine, in the south, Babylonia, later known as Assuristan, in the middle, northern Mesopotamia which included regions like Gordine, Osrin, Adiabene, and Garamea, and the desert areas along the upper Euphrates, later referred to as Arabistan during the Sasanian period. These areas had distinct histories until the Arab conquest in the 7th century, although they were initially under the rule of the Seleucids and later the Parthians and Sasanians. Some of these regions occasionally enjoyed full independence, while the relationships between certain cities and provincial or central governments varied over time. Traditional religious practices, forms of government, and customs persisted in Mesopotamia, as evidenced by cuneiform sources. Only a few Greek centers, like Seleucia and the island of Ikaros, modern Phalica, near Kuwait, adhered to Greek polis practices. In most native cities, there were a few Greek officials or garrisons, but they continued to function as they had in the past. Seleucia, situated on the Tigris, served as the eastern capital and was an autonomous city governed by an elected senate. It replaced Babylon as the administrative and commercial center of the old province of Babylonia. In the southern part of Mesopotamia, cities such as Furit and Cherax prospered through maritime trade with India, and Cherax became a significant trade hub after the decline of the Seleucids. In the northern regions, towns like Arbella, modern Erbil, and Nisibis, modern Nusaybin, grew in importance. In the desert region, caravan cities like Hatra and Palmyra began to flourish during the Seleucid period and reached their peak under the Parthians. The only time that the Seleucid kings lost control of Mesopotamia was from 222 to 220 BCE, when Molon, the governor of Media, revolted. However, the revolt was quelled when the new Seleucid king, Antiochus III, marched against him from Syria, and Molon's forces deserted him. The Parthians, led by their capable king Mithridates I, conquered Seleucid territory in Iran and entered Seleucia in 141 BCE. After Mithridates I's death in 138 BCE, Antiochus VII launched a campaign to regain the Seleucid domains in the east, which was initially successful. However, the death of Antiochus VII in Iran in 129 BCE marked the end of Seleucid rule in Mesopotamia and the beginning of the formation of small principalities in the southern and northern regions of Mesopotamia. Under Seleucid rule, there were notable changes in Mesopotamia, especially in cities where Greeks and Macedonians were settled. The king made separate agreements with Greek officials in these cities, granting them civil and military authority, immunity from taxes, and other privileges. Native cities continued with their traditional local government systems, much as they had during the Achaemenian Empire. Temples dedicated to Greek gods were established in Greek cities, while native Mesopotamian gods had temples in the native cities. Over time, syncretism and identification of foreign and local deities developed. Although Hellenization was not imposed on the population, 
Greek ideas did influence the local educated classes, and local practices were gradually adopted by the Greeks. Philosophies like Stoicism and mystery religions from the Hellenistic age likely had an impact in Mesopotamia. However, there is limited evidence of the popularity of Greek beliefs among the local population, and scholars can only speculate based on fragmentary references in works like Strabo's writings. The Seleucid rulers respected the native priesthoods of Mesopotamia, and there are no records of any persecutions. On the contrary, the rulers seemed to favor local religious practices, and ancient forms of worship continued. Cuneiform writing by priests, who copied incantations and old religious texts, persisted into the Parthian period. During the Seleucid rule in Mesopotamia, the administrative institutions in the countryside remained quite traditional, with the old taxes being paid to the new rulers. The satrapy, which was now smaller than during the Achaemenian times, formed the basis for Seleucid control over the rural areas. Each satrapy was headed by a satrap or strategus, and they were further divided into hyparchies or eparchies. There were various smaller units of administration as well. In the capital and provincial centers, both Greek and Aramaic were used as written languages in government documents. Cuneiform writing, which was used during the Achaemenian period, had ceased in government documents but continued in religious texts until the 1st century CE. Archives were managed by an official called a bibliophilax. There were several financial officials known as oikon amoi, overseeing royal possessions and managing local taxes and economic matters. The legal system during the Seleucid era is not fully understood, but it is believed that both local Mesopotamian laws and Greek laws were in effect, having replaced the old Achaemenian imperial laws. Artistic remains from the Seleucid period are scarce, with no evidence of royal or monumental art. Instead, objects of popular or private art such as seals, statuettes, and clay figurines have been found, showing a mixture of Greek and local styles. The deity Heracles was particularly popular in the region, identified with the local god Nergal. Regarding languages, Aramaic was the official written language during the Achaemenian Empire, but Greek replaced it after Alexander the Great's conquests. Under the Seleucids, both Greek and Aramaic were used throughout the empire, with Greek being the primary language of government. Over time, Aramaic underwent changes in various parts of the empire, evolving into Syriac in Mesopotamia during the Parthian period. Different dialects of Aramaic, such as Mandaic, emerged in southern Mesopotamia. There was little literature in local languages, except for copies of ancient religious texts in cuneiform and fragments of Aramaic writing. Some authors wrote in Greek, although few of their works have survived, mostly as excerpts in later writings. Notable authors included Barassus, a Babylonian priest who wrote about the history of his country, and Apollodorus of Artemida, who wrote a history of Parthia and works on geography. Greek continued to be a lingua franca used by educated individuals in Mesopotamia during the Parthian period. Under the Seleucid rule, a new system of dating was established in the Middle East, marking the first time a fixed year became the basis for continuous dating. The chosen year was the year Seleucus entered Babylon, either 311 BCE, according to Mesopotamian reckoning, or 312 BCE, according to Syrian reckoning. Before this system, dating was based on the regnal years of the ruling monarch. The Parthians, following the Seleucids, also attempted to create their own dating system, likely based on a significant event in their history, such as the assumption of the title of king by the first ruler of the Parthians, Arsaces. However, the exact event is still a matter of speculation among scholars. During the Seleucid rule, there was a movement of Greek colonists to the east, as Greece was overpopulated at the time. It was relatively easy to convince colonists to move, especially when they were offered plots of land, Chlorov, from royal domains, which they could pass on to their descendants. If they had no descendants, the land would revert to the king. Although all land theoretically belonged to the ruler, local interests played a significant role in practice. Over time, the influx of Greek colonists decreased and eventually stopped due to the wars of the Hellenistic kings disrupting this movement. Despite this, Greek influences continued to be present. Fascinatingly, cuneiform documents reveal records of families with fathers having local names while their sons had Greek names, and vice versa. Mesopotamia experienced relative peace under the Seleucids, allowing for processes of accommodation and assimilation to flourish among the people.